Hello everyone, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build heavy duty sliding doors for your LEGO mocks. This is a redo of an old video that didn't come out so good, so if you saw that one on the Brick Nation channel, and are worried that this one will be just as bad, don't worry, because uh, this video is going to be a lot higher quality. The kind of parts you'll need for a mock like this are tiles, uh, 2 by bricks, one by bricks modified bricks, uh, slopes, plates, and you'll need a base plate, as well as a wall with a hole in it. Or a doorway, of course. Once you recognize your doorway and where you're going to put your door, you first have to decide which side is going to be the inside and which side is going to be the outside. I'm calling this side right here the outside, and this side the inside. So now you have to put some tiles on, like this. Alright, so now this is good, and what you want to do is you want to put the tiles on the inside. Because when you eventually have your door sliding, you're going to want it to slide on the inside. So, now to start building that door, I'm going to start with some of these um, plates right here. To, uh, for a good base. Then I'm going to place uh, this piece, oops, this piece right here, two plates, and then that piece right there. Next, I'm going to try to... Um, and this piece going on the outside to act as a little bit of a, a stopper, if you will. So what I'm going to do is take this like this, place this like this here, like that, and this one going out, and then three more of these um, just lined up like that. <coughs> And that adds a little stopper again. That one doesn't have to be a modified one. That's just what I have. And then you can put a stack of bricks, however high you want. These are just bricks stacked up. However high you want your door to be. Next, the other important stage is to do plates. And another one, another plate on the bottom. And then you want to do these slopes. Because the slopes are what make the door have a cool... Um, connection. It's not just two flat walls connecting. It makes it a lot more interesting, I think. And so once you get these like this, then kind of connect them like that and hold them together with some tiles on the top. Like that. You can hold them together on the bottom too if you wanted to try to do that. Something you can do is uh, take these off and set them one back. And then, when you remove this, just remove that, like that, attach a one by tile in the front, and get it all like that. So now it's a lot sturdier. The next step would be to add some tracks onto the door, like this. And what the tracks are, they are to um, make sure that there's the doors um, stay in place, which is an important thing to do. And what you already saw me put on is this. These are actually the door stoppers. We already put on the stoppers on the door, and the stoppers are going to collide with these pieces to actually stop. Now, you can put the door here. This is the door we just built. We can mirror it, and when you mirror it, except for the bottom being different, starting on a different side slope, and they connect like this. And you want to place those in like this. And you can see that they don't fully connect right there. Which means that we put the uh, stoppers too far out. So then we can move the stoppers forward. Just like this. And now, using now they go forward enough and connect. So that's the right step. You can make these go a little bit further back, like this, and add some plates at the b add some bricks at the back right there, and that makes it so the doors can't slide backwards. Now they can't leave their track. So the doors are now stuck on this track where they can't go too far, which is what you want. Another thing you can do is um stack some bricks like this, plate kind of like this, and this can be used right here to 
keep the doors on on the top. So now they just slide like this. So this is what they look like on the inside. And then going back to the outside, looks like this, which looks very nice. You can see them opening and then closing just like that. So I really hope this video was helpful. And if it wasn't, please uh, tell me in the comment section down below why. You can also take the poll to say if this video is helpful. Anyways, that's all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.